Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. We're first going to offer for sale these assets in bulk and then individually, whichever way is deemed most beneficial to the estate is how the assets will be sold. We're in Central Islip, where a well-known auction house has taken up residence. Well, the name of our firm is Maltz Auctions. We've been in business for a little over 35 years. My father founded the firm with a specialization in debt-related sales. Uh, my main area of growth and expansion has been on the non-distressed, non-debt-related side. Um, so that ranges from private real estate owners to public administrators to estate executors to uh, charities and foundations. Anyone and everyone who is looking for a quick and efficient way to maximize the selling price of whatever asset they have. $200, $300, a bit, three to bit, $300, a half, $300, $400, $400, absentee bit, five on the floor, bit, five. And what was on sale today? So the primary auction today was for a United States bankruptcy trustee. Uh, we were selling it on behalf of him for the bankruptcy court. Uh, consisted of roughly 15 uh, photographs and pictures. In addition, today marks the start of a new charitable program. It's designed to help nonprofits deal with donated art and collectible merchandise. We saw a need speaking to several different organizations that once they receive those, these donations, they don't necessarily have a cost-effective and efficient way to liquidate those assets, you know, to assist in the fundraising efforts. So we're excited to launch this new program and hope it's a success. Since the program is in its infancy, not many charities are on board yet. In today's sale, it's just for a single organization. Um, they're the first one that we've established the relationship with being Crohn's and Colitis. Um, and we hope to roll out with additional charities and organizations over the next few months. For nonprofits, the selling process is easy. Malt Auctions handles the listing of the item, the marketing, collecting payment, and sales tax, which is probably the reason why they have such high sell-through. 96% of what we put, put up for auction sells, uh, which is very unique in the auction industry. You know, we understand people spend a lot of time and money um, doing their due diligence prior to participating in an auction. Um, so we believe it's very important to our brand to only take on potential engagements that will result in successful auctions. And also adding to the success of their auctions is the internet. I have a $300 bid online. I have a $300 bid, 400 online, 500 absentee, 500 six on the floor. Six Over the past few years, we've gradually um, started to entertain online bids and absentee bids and phone bids because we've seen an increased demand in a global environment, in a global bidding environment. Um, so through several uh, proprietary online bidding providers, we're able to offer the floor open to not just live bidders, but also online bidders. As an example, at today's auction, we may have had 30 registered bidders um, in our auction gallery, but we had in excess of 50 online bidders participating as well. 13, 1400 dollars half, 14 and 15 bid, 1500 dollars half, 15, 16 and back bid, 17 if you're in. As an auctioneer, Richard has a very unique cadence, which seems to run in the family. I think from the age of probably before I was five, you know, I went with my father to various auctions. And I think his voice just became ingrained in my mind. And um, now when one of us is selling, you know, no one on our auction team um, can tell the difference. So I think it kind of went into my bloodstream. So 